Well, you know how the saying goes, there's no such thing as a free lunch. It's the same with analytics. That server might have to do a lot of work. Let's check it out. These are short two minute sessions designed to solve real problems rather than just bombard you with syntax diagrams. In this session, really it's just a, a little word of warning when it comes to using analytics. A quick 10 second recap of our previous session. We did our first look at aggregation, including the partition by clause. So in this case, we wanted departmental salaries running total by employee name, and we used that requirement to build up our function. We needed to partition the data by department number, we were told to order it by employee name, and we were doing a summation of the salary. We didn't need a window in clause. And then we plugged that in and we very quickly got a running total and we could see it building up as we walked through the data. Nice and simple. The kind of typical aggregations we see are sum, average, min, max count, the kind of things you would see in a group by statement. There's a whole lot more available to you, however. When it comes to using a function, it's not just the sum that's available. There are dozens of different features and functions available to you, and you can refer to them all in the Oracle documentation. One thing to be wary of is some of those functions can be used in an analytic context. Some of them might not be available. You might have to use them only with a group by statement. Check the documentation for details. Now, before you get so excited that you race out and start writing analytic functions everywhere, which, don't get me wrong, is a good thing, you need to be a little bit careful when it comes to performance. There's a cost, obviously, to working out all those analytic answers. If I do something like sum the salary, max the hire date, standard deviation of commission, and each of them have a different partition by and maybe a different order by, that's a lot of different sorting and partitioning that the database has to do. That's a lot of work that you have to get done and that's going to consume a lot of resources. The key to looking at that is the execution plan. If I run a normal query with no analytics, you'll often see sort order by in the execution plan, and that's indicative of the order by statement you can see at the top. I need to sort the data before presenting it back to the user. When it comes to using an analytic, the key word you'll see in the execution plan is window sort, and that's indicative that an analytic sort is going on. Now, if you have dozens of different analytic functions, each with different order buys or partition buys in them, you could see multiple window sorts appear. That's an indication that your server's working pretty hard to work out all those analytic results. Oracle will do its best to use one window sort to satisfy multiple analytics if they're all partitioned by the same columns and ordered by the same columns, but sometimes it's just gonna to have to work very, very hard. So please take care. If you're sorting massive, massive data sets, go to Oracle support, search for some of these keywords and maybe log a call with Oracle support to get some advice on how you can adjust your memory settings to get the optimal sorting performance. In the next session, we're gonna look at some of the types of aggregation because we skipped over that in the previous session and there's some very important subtle differences when it comes to aggregating data. But you've had the word of warning. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.